All right, guys, I have about two hours. What time is it? 10.58? Two hours before I have to leave for a sip and see. Have you guys ever heard of a sip and see before? I sure as heck know I haven't heard of a sip and see before. Apparently, it's like you go and you sip wine and tea and you see a new baby. It's like a southern thing, I guess. I don't know. But I thought I would go ahead and film a get ready with me while I get ready for this. This is nothing fancy. I'm not going to do like anything crazy, at least I don't think. Sometimes while I'm doing my makeup, it morphs into something like way more than I thought it was going to be. But for the most part, I'm just going to do like, you know, standard-ish makeup, maybe a little bit more. I do have some new products. I have a Sephora haul. I have the box down there. I'm going to film that video after this, but I think I'm going to use some of the products in this video just to kind of like incorporate them and show you guys how they work. The reason why today is the last day I'm going to be filming before I take my Christmas winter break. I'm actually flying back to Arizona on Friday, which is in four days, and I am so nervous. We're taking the dogs and I can get off on a tangent and chat with you guys forever, but ugh, I will save you the time. So anyways, yeah, today's going to be the last day that I film before I take pretty much a month off. I do have some videos that are going to be going up, so it's not going to be a whole month without videos. It'll probably be like two weeks without videos. But anyways, so in this tutorial, there's going to be some old products, some new products. I kind of shopped my stash a little bit and pulled out some products that I haven't used in a really long time. So I'm kind of like excited to try them. And then I have some brand new products as well. So let's hop into it. I'm going to prime my face first, which is a must for me. You, ooh, it squirted everywhere. You guys already know. Um... This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Formula. It's actually almost gone. I just ordered a professional. Um, I had it sent to my mom's house, though, in Arizona because I ordered it from Ulta, and I don't have, like, fast delivery from Ulta. And I don't know if this is the same for you guys, but Ulta orders take, like, two weeks to get to me. It's so weird. Sephora orders, they come, like, almost overnight within a couple of days. But Ulta orders take forever and ever, so I was kind of worried that I wouldn't get it in time. So I just had it shipped to my mom's house, which is probably perfect timing because I have like a couple of uses left in that one. And then for eyes, another product that I am scraping the bottom of is my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I even took the little stopper out of it because I wanted to like scrape and get every little bit out of that tube. And because I am using some like different-ish type eye products today, which I will get to in a minute, I'm going to prime my eyes a second time with Max Paint Pot in the color Painterly. As you can see, this is just a skin skin colored kind of cream base. I've talked to you guys about this before. This is nothing new on the market, but if ever I'm using cream eyeshadow products or sometimes just new products, um, I will use this. It's kind of like a, I mean, you can use this alone. You can use this instead of primer, but I like to double up because I sometimes have really oily eyelids and I just want to, you know, get the true effect of the product. Okay, for, why is my camera about to die? Okay, let me replace the battery real quick. I thought that that was a charged battery, but apparently not. Okay, for foundation, I'm going to use a tried and true, the Dior Forever Perfecting Makeup. I'm like, what does it say? What is, what is this? I don't even know. Um, Dior Skin Forever. I wear the color 14, which is actually a tiny bit too light for me. I've had a couple of people ask me what color I would have bought instead, and I don't know the colors off the top of my hand, uh, top of my head, but I want to say last time I bought color 22. And this is 14, so that's quite a bit of a, like, shade difference. I probably would have gotten something in the middle. But I'd have to go back and kind of, like, re-swatch. But I'm going to mix this with a serum, which is kind of a trick that I've been doing lately. My skin has been so dry. The eczema on my hands, you can tell, is, like, flaring up. It's just, it's been so cold and so dry feeling lately that my skin isn't quite sure how it's supposed to react. So a trick that I've been doing is mixing serums in with my foundations. Now I don't wear foundation, liquid foundation on a daily basis, but when I do, lately I've been mixing a serum in with it. 
This is a new one. Um, I have been loving the Estee Lauder, the one that I talked about in my favorites video. Um, I can't remember the full name of it. I'll link, I think it's called like Night Active Night. I'll link it. I'll link the favorites video down below. But this is a brand new one. I also got this from Octoly. Um, I've really been trying to try out like new skincare products so I can tell you guys which ones I like best. So this is a different serum. It's the Clarins Double Serum. It is the, uh, is that a different language? Oh my gosh. Okay, where's the English? Okay, Complete Age Control Concentrate, the only bio-inspired anti-aging serum. Ooh, with a two-phased hydric, I don't know what that means, and liptic, I also don't know what that means, <laughs> formula, that for the first time decodes the language of youth. Whoa. This sounds like the fountain of youth in a bottle. Boosting the skin's five vital functions. Hmm. So it's to firm and visibly reduce the look of fine lines, improve radiance and skin tone, and reduce the appearance of pores. So that's all good stuff. I've heard fantastic things about this. Um, again, I did get this from Octoly and Clarins together, but you can find this at like Sephora and lots of other places. I've actually never tried any Clarins products before. Look at how luxurious this product looks. What? I'm like, wow. Okay, this is so cool. Look at the pump on this, you guys. See how there's like a space between it? Is this the pump? It is. Okay, it's not a glass bottle, it's a plastic bottle, which I actually prefer for skincare. This is so stinking cool. Okay, it's huge too. How many ounces is in this? One fluid ounce. So, I'm going to... This is like the coolest bottle. It smells good. It has almost like a... Like a florally scent to it. I'm going to just put some on my neck. Just because... Oh, that smells really good. So the Estee Lauder one I've been wearing smells so gross. It kind of smells like vitamins and like just something sour. Like it doesn't smell very good. This one smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three pumps just because I haven't used this foundation in a while and I don't remember how many pumps I usually use. And I'm gonna mix in one pump of this serum. And I'm just going to mix that on the back of my hand. Yeah, my skin has been like ridiculously dry, you guys. It's been embarrassingly dry like, to the point where I have like flaky skin. It's so weird. I've never had skin like this before. My skin is usually really oily, so it's just like a new concept for me. Now, fair warning, when you mix oils and serums in with your foundation, it does kind of shear the formula out a little bit. So if you're used to using a super high coverage foundation, this is going to shear it out a little bit. I don't mind because I'm not doing anything crazy today. I'm just going over to a friend's house for a sip and see. So it's okay for me, but if you want like high coverage, you'll either have to add more foundation, layer it up, things like that. But Man, that serum smells super good. I have a mirror right here. You can actually see the top of it in case you're wondering why I keep like looking down. But definitely what's blah, 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 tongue tied. Definitely what serum I find does when you mix it in with your foundation, aside from hydrating and shearing out the foundation, is it makes it look less cakey. So I don't know why, but like right here usually and like in my eyebrow area my foundation tends to cake up so much. I don't know if it's like a drier area or if it's just kind of harder to get into, but this serum definitely kind of shears that out a little bit and you still maintain the finish of the foundation. So like if it's a matte finish foundation or dewy finish foundation, like you're still gonna maintain that finish, but I am super, excited about this. I can't wait to use this just like on its own as a skincare product. So very exciting. Okay. For concealer, I ordered the new Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer, but I haven't got it in the mail yet. And I didn't want to wait to film this video. So I'm just going to use my tried and true shape tape. I use the color light. I also have the color fair 
And I've told you guys this before, but some of you guys are new to my channel. The fair color kind of has like a weird, like yellowish, grayish undertone. It's totally bizarre. So I try to stick to the light one. If anything, I'll mix them. But for the most part, I just use the light one. All right, I was going to use my NARS translucent crystal pressed to set my under eyes, but I think I'm going to bust into this right here, the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette. I have a Tarte Contour Palette that I got last year. It's the one that was in like the circular container, and I actually really like it. Um, what I don't like about it is I feel like the pans are super duper tiny. I can show it to you guys. It's right here. This one right here. I feel like the pans are really tiny, so if you're using it to like bronze, it's just a little bit more difficult to kind of, I don't know, stick your brush in the palette. Ooh, my nose itches. Okay, so this one is huge. Like this palette is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This is new, it's a brand new palette. <sighs> Doesn't smell. I was hoping it would have like that vanilla scent that some of them have. So Ooh, this mirror is humongous. This is a huge palette, you guys. Okay, I can definitely tell some of these are going to be way too dark for me. Um, but I might be able to use, like, Carrot or Princess Cut to contour with. These two colors are going to be really good. So I'm going to use a mixture of the two to set my under eyes so they don't crease. So Halo has more of a pinky tone to it. And Enhance has, like, a yellowy tone to it. So I'm just going to mix the two. God, I wish it had a scent to it. I'm going to swatch. Ooh. Super pigmented and very, very creamy. I'll have to use it to contour with also so we can see if it's blendable or not. All right. And then for all over face, I'm going to use my Too Faced Peach Perfect Matte Setting Powder. This stuff is so messy, <laughs> but I love it so much. I'm going to use, a lot of people have asked me which brush this is when I say I'm going to use a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E41. I really like this to set my face if I want like a light dusting of something. If I want like a heavy, oh, this tastes like peach and I'm inhaling it. I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, if I want like a heavy, like kind of full coverage if I'm using a powder foundation or something like that, I usually will use my Sephora number 61 brush. This one's really dense. This one's a little bit less dense, so I just get less color payoff, but when I just want like a dusting of something, this is the one. The Morphe one is the one I use. I'm going to do my brows off camera just because it takes so stinking long, but the products I've been using a lot lately is the Benefit Cabrow in the number two and the Benefit Precisely My Brow in the number two. I'm kind of like mixing them together to get the most natural looking brows. So I'm going to do this really quick off camera and then I will be back to do the rest of my makeup. Alright, so not the best my brows have ever looked, but not the worst either. <laughs> Moving on to eyes. I have some new eye products I want to try out today. Um, I got these from Octoly again. I've been getting a lot of stuff from Octoly. I told you guys about it in my last couple of videos, but if you're unaware of what Octoly is, it's a network for uh, YouTube creators or social media creators where you can go and basically pick out products that you want to try out for your viewers. They mail it to you, you post the review, and then you get to try out new products. So it is a fantastic community. Um, if you have never been before and you are a beauty creator, I'm going to link it down below for you. You have to check it out, you guys. They have so many good products on there, and because of it, I've been able to try out so many more things than if I was buying with my own money. So yeah, these products were gifted to me by Octoly. These are by the brand Lancome. You guys already know, everyone knows what Lancome is, right? You can find them at Sephora, Macy's, Dillard's, blah, 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 you know, all those good places. But they have some new eye pencils. These are called the Ombre Hypnose Stylos. And I was looking on the Sephora website because I've actually never heard of these before. I've never tried them before, but they have a selection of these, like a, a good selection of these on the Sephora website. Um, they're $25 each. Sephora has 11 colors, but I don't see that they have these colors. So I have the colors 31, 
28 and 30 amethyst ruby and some kind of blue color so I'm not seeing like any of these colors on the Sephora website I will find these and I will link them down below for you I want to say these are probably like holiday colors maybe that they came out with yeah I'm not seeing them on the Sephora website at all but basically these remind me so much of so last year, you guys may remember, I posted a video about the MAC stick things. Let me find them. I have them in here. Oh, here's one of them. I mean, you guys, if these didn't have a name on them, I would think that these were the same exact brand, same exact everything. I mean, size, color, the packaging is literally exactly the same. Like they had to have made these in the exact same factory. Like weight wise, they feel exactly the same. These are the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Color Sticks. I made a video all about these last year. I love them so stinking much. So I have a feeling I'm really gonna like these too. I have no idea, like, I don't really know much more about them other than they remind me of the MAC sticks. So these basically are waterproof, okay, just like the MAC ones, creamy eyeshadow stick and eyeliner with a built-in sharpener. Ooh, I don't know if the MAC ones had a built-in sharpener. Oh, on the bottom. Very cool. So I have three colors here. This one is Blue Chrome 31. It's like this, I don't know if you can see, like this bright, like cobalt, kind of navy blue color. And then I also have number 30 Amethyst which is this purpley color here. And then the last one is really intriguing me. It's like a rose gold color. This one is number 28 Rubis, I think is what it's called. The bottom of it makes it look, ooh, it's almost like a rusty, not rose gold at all. It's almost like a rusty kind of plummy brown color. That's really pretty. I might use this one today. I'm on the fence, like, which one do I use? That's really creamy and really pigmented, though. They're not quite as bright as I was expecting them to be. I mean, based off of the tip here, I was expecting them to be very, very bright. I'm kind of okay with that, because how often do you wear bright purple or bright blue eyeshadow? Oh, the blue one is really bright. Spoke too soon. There's the blue one right there. You know what, though? This one would be super pretty, like, on your waterline as a pop of color for like 4th of July or Memorial Day. My nose is running. The shirt I'm gonna wear today is gray with like sequins on it, so it actually wouldn't be too out of the box to wear something bright blue like that, but I think I'm gonna try to use this purple and this kind of rusty brown color. I'm gonna incorporate them into an eye look. This package also came with the mascara, the Lancome I have no idea how to say that. High definition mascara. These fancy things have like other languages on them and it throws me off. So here's what the packaging looks like. I've used Lancome mascaras before, but never this one. This packaging is super skinny. It's very heavy. It feels like metal. Oh, this is gonna be perfect for lower lash line. Perfect for lower lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna save that and use that for lower lash line. As for shadow goes, I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill palette. I know I filmed, I think, one tutorial using this, but you guys, this is literally the palette I go to every single day as I'm doing my eye makeup. I'm not exaggerating. I pull this palette out every day. I'm surprised I have not hit pan. I use this color right here, like, all the time. Um, it's kind of just like a champagne-y, shimmery color. I love this palette but it also has some of the colors that match those eyeshadow sticks like there's a blue right there um i mean there's a lot of them that match that brownish plum one like this one right here and then the purple there's one right there so i feel like the colors just kind of coordinate really well <sighs> let me think about what i want to do for a minute okay if these are anything like the mac ones then they dry super quickly so I'm gonna have to work one eye at a time. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of carve out my outer V with this, maybe drag it into the crease just a little bit, and then buff it out with an eyeshadow brush. And then I think I'm gonna use the purple one on my lower lash line, but I gotta move quick, cause yeah, I remember the MAC ones, they dry so fast, and you saw, once they dry, they do not budge like 
at all, which makes them a little bit difficult to work with, but makes it super nice when they're on because you know those babies are not going anywhere. Okay guys, so here's what it looks like after I've built it up a little bit. I think you can continue to build it if you really wanted to like deepen the color, but I think for the purpose that I'm using it for as kind of like a base transition color, this is perfect. I do think if you're somebody who likes to wear just like one color all over your lid, these types of products, either this one or the MAC, is perfect because they're waterproof, they won't crease on you, once they blend out, like they're, they're staying there, they're not moving and budging around, but I do also think that this is going to work perfectly as like a crease transition color, you know? Okay, so to build that color up, I'm going to go into this color in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't think I've used this particular color before. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but I think it matches the Lancome stick super, super well. So I'm just going to pack this on top and really build up that outer V color and kind of drag it in to the crease. Okay, and then for an all-over lid color, I've been loving, loving this one right here. I don't know what the names of these are. And I have the old version, like the first version of the palette where the color names aren't even on the back. They sent over this little sheet that had them on there, but Lord knows I tossed that sheet out a long time ago. So this one is just almost like a, kind of like a champagne-y, just shimmery color and I love it for all over the lid. It really really brightens up your eye look like a lot. Okay then I'm gonna go back to the brush that I dipped into this color but I'm not actually gonna dip in for more color. I'm just gonna drag it along the crease to kind of blend out um, that all over lid color. Sometimes those bright colors and if there's shimmers in them they just kind of make the other colors get lost you know what I mean? So this is just gonna carve it back out. I'm actually going to stop there. I could easily get out of hand and keep adding colors, adding depth and dimension, adding like a darker brown right here, a brighter color on the inner corner. Like I could easily be here all day just blending and adding colors, but I kind of wanted to keep this look a little bit simple. Um, and I really just, you know, I don't want to go too overboard. So I'm going to stop there, but I'm going to go back to the Lancome stick and put this same color on my lower lash line just to kind of bring the colors together. Then I'm using a pencil brush just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. All right, lastly, I'm going to go to the purple Lancome pencil and put this like closer to my... <laughs> got a brush hair on my face, um, closer to the actual waterline, just to bring some color, like a pop of color, you know what I mean? There we go. I'm going to do that instead of eyeliner. That really adds a really pretty, can you guys see? So you can see, it's not too much of a difference, but just a little extra pop of color. Okay, let's do lower lashes really quick and then I'm gonna hop off camera to do my lashes, my falsies, because that's another thing that takes me literally forever. This mascara feels so heavy and so like luxurious and fancy. I really like it. Like it has the same, like you know how the Better Than Sex mascara just feels really heavy and really just like, mmm, <laughs> that's what this one feels like. So, this wand is perfect for lower lash line. You can really get into those corners. So here's what those lower lashes look like. I really like it. I do feel like this is a mascara that I'm going to have to use a few times to kind of break it in because it's really liquidy. And sometimes when mascaras are really liquidy, you have to like build them up and build them up and build them up. So I could easily keep building this up and make it really dark and really pigmented, but I'm going to leave it like that because I think it complements the look really well, but I was able to get into like these little cracks and crevices super, super well. So 
High Definition Mascara by Lancome. It's good stuff. Before I look at this eye look, especially with lashes on, I love it. It's so simple, but so pretty. Like, that Lancome pencil with that Jaclyn Hill color on top of it is just so pretty. Like, it's effortless, perfect for daytime. Like, I am stinking loving it. Uh, moving on to bronzer. I pulled this out of my stash. I haven't even used this, you guys. I don't... I don't even remember when I bought it, to be honest. It's like a NARS, it's Laguna, but it's like this huge pan of Laguna and it came with this little baby Eda brush. How stinking cute, right? So I'm gonna use this as bronzer and then I'm gonna go back to the Tarte palette for contour. I might use the little baby Eda brush though, just cause it's so cute. So Laguna, I've used Laguna before in like other palettes and stuff, but just this particular, gosh, my nails are, eh, I need to file them. My nails are a hot mess. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. I do like the color of Laguna though. I think it's good. It's a little bit dark for me for the winter time, but it does add some nice color to my face. I am very pasty, so I just like that it's matte. It's universal. You could definitely use this to contour with. Um, you know, if you didn't have another product on hand or, or whatever. Okay, for contour, I'm gonna go back to my Tartist, nope, just Tarte, <laughs> the Park Avenue Princess palette I used earlier. I think I'm gonna use the Carrot, which has kind of like a grayish neutral undertone to it. I'm gonna go in very, very light-handed though because I have no idea how pigmented these are. And, can you see that? Okay. I could probably use a little bit more. There we go. Just kind of carve out my cheekbones a little bit. Sometimes the grayish undertone ones um, on certain skin tones look a little funky, but I find that on my skin tone, they work well. Um, I have a NARS one that has a little bit of a, the Olympia palette I have has a little bit of a grayish undertone. I mean, you think about it, shadows, which is what contouring is, are gray, not brown, not gold, not shimmery. So it makes sense that contour palettes and powders would be gray, you know what I mean? For blush, I'm gonna go back old school to Hourglass Mood. This dang brush, I think it did it to me before in a video and I always forget that it's broken. Um, <laughs> mood Exposure. And then for highlight, another product that I pulled out of my stash is this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle, I think is what this is. It's their three pan highlighter. I know right now they have um, something very, very similar to this out, but it has four pans instead of three pans, which is kind of what sparked me to use this because I assume that the formulas and the colors are pretty similar. This is so nice because it's like not too pow in your face. It's really good for daytime use. Um, I'm kind of digging the matte look actually, but <laughs> we'll put this on just, just because. So just a little something. This is not a new product, but it is a new bottle for me of the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then for lipsticks, I actually have two here that I purchased from Sephora, both by Lancome. They're both like the same style of lipstick, but one of them is the limited edition holiday version, and the other one is like a more berry color. These are the, I'm not gonna be able to say it, it's in a different uh, language, Rouge Galbant, Hyd oh wait, Hydrating Shaping Lip Color, of course. So the berry one is matte, and then the more nude holiday collection one is sheer. These are really cool because look at this packaging, first of all, like the glitter. The packaging is totally what pulled me in. So you click the top, the bottom pops out, and then that's your lipstick. Like, how cool is that? So here's the limited edition holiday one, which is like a nude color, so pretty. These have, oh, of course I did that. Of course I got it on my nose. They have a good scent to them, but don't get them on your nose. And then look, you just like, oh, so cool. So there's that one. And then the standard packaging is just black, but same thing, pops open. Ooh, that is, 
Not really what I would consider berry, but ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go with that because I think it goes really good with the Mood Exposure Blush and kind of the cranberries in my eye. Let's see if I have a lip liner to match. Okay, this NARS lip liner actually matches pretty decent. This is in Belle Mar. So, my lips are so dry right now, you guys. It's like comical. All right, and then going in with Berry Noir. Ooh, super soft. It feels very comfortable. This color is super pretty. It almost has like a red undertone to it. It's really hard to explain. It's surprising. I thought it was gonna be like a fuchsia color, but I really like it. I need to fix my lip line, but I'm gonna step away and do my hair really quick, and then I will show you the final look. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but it is snowing outside. Makes me so happy. This Arizona girl has never seen snow before. All right guys, well here is the final look with hair. My hair is so flat lately. I'm just like, please, volume. But with hair and just kind of everything all done, and I really like it. I have to say, mixing this serum in with my foundation, I feel like my skin looks so good. I know I have extremely dry patches like right here and like right here along my jawline, and I can't see it at all. Like my skin, looks so good just like flawless and poreless and just very smooth and very even so i'm super excited to continue using this like you guys have no idea so excited good job clarence as far as some other new products that i used the tarte palette i'll have to use it a few more times to make sure that i really like it but when i used it to set my under eyes like my under eyes look really good they look really bright they don't look cakey i don't feel like um, it's creasing or making my under eyes look really heavy or anything. The contour looks really good, very natural, not too much. The darker colors I probably can use for eyeshadows, but I really don't know yet. The lipstick looks so good. My lips are so dry, and the fact that this is a matte lipstick and I don't feel like my lips are about to fall off is a really good sign. Um, I think it's perfect for like winter or fall. If you're looking for a holiday lip that's not bright red, sometimes something like this is like a really good option. And I knew already I was going to love the Lancome pencils. Um, I haven't tried the blue one yet. I'll have to try that with a different makeup look. But I knew I was going to love these because they're so similar to the MAC ones. I just really love this eye look. So overall, really good makeup day. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. But um, if you enjoy these kind of chit-chatty testing how new makeup kind of tutorial ish type videos let me know i know i filmed quite a few of them lately but i've had a lot of new products to try out and i feel like this is kind of the best way for you guys to see them in action sometimes it's better to see them in action than to just hear me talk about them after the fact so definitely let me know um if you like them so i can continue to film them but that is about it i need to go to my sip and see it's already one o'clock uh, it's 12.54, so I got six minutes to get there. But this was so much fun, you guys, and I got distracted by the snow. It is snowing outside, and I'm like, I'm kind of scared to drive in it. Pray for me. All right, guys, well, that is it. This is going to be, well, I'm going to film my Sephora haul when I get back from my sip and see. But as far as tutorials go and kind of chit-chatting, this is the last video for the whole year. So, Happy New Year, and we'll see you in 2018. Bye.